And now when you're ready to you know, fillet your salmon, uh, place your knife under the gill here to put it flat on the central bone and just follow the central bone. This way. Now, I cut flat on the bone, so the bone being flat here, there is a little recess right there, so there is a little bit of meat there that I'm going to remove, not to waste anything, and we can use that for tartare. This and on this side. Now here, what you want to do is to remove the rib cage that we have here. Slide your knife underneath and gently slide it, keeping your knife as flat as you can. The belly is pretty thin, so you have to use your knife flat. Remember there is a rib cage and above the rib cage there is a series of bone that have been cut through it so you can remove it with a plier in this way. They usually come out good because this is a fatty fish. If you do that with a fish which is drier, like a bass and all that, often when you pull out those bones, it stick. You tear out the meat. So if this happened, what you would want is to take a bone like that, put your finger around and hold the flesh while you're pulling this out. So you avoid tearing the flesh. It's not the case in the salmon. That's it. All the bone is here. I think, I think there is about 20 some bone, 28 bone. We can take the skin out of it now, if we need to take the skin for certain recipe. Put it flat, hold it at the end and move your knife in a jigsaw fashion. Still pulling. The skin of course can be used, can be placed in, uh, in the oven a little bit of oil, salt on top of it, and it can dry out to make crackling to use in salad or other garnish on the top of the fish. Under the skin, there is always that layer of darker flesh. Again, using your knife flat, you want to remove most of it. Some people keep it. This is a type of meat which will turn really black when it's cooked, and it's much stronger in taste. So I will remove it. You can cut the belly and use it for the best tartare. And it's important that you cut that meat with a knife rather than putting it in the food processor. Otherwise it gets very pasty. Then of course, very often we use that for steak or gravlax. Like for example, if I do an instant gravlax, I will cut, like if I were cutting smoked salmon, into a thin strip. I will use a little bit of salt in the bottom, pepper, and you can do large platter of this or individual platter. Place it right on top. By the time the salt is melted, the salmon is cured. A little more salt on top. You can put a piece of plastic wrap, put another plate on top of it, do a second one, a third one, and they are ready now to be decorated and finished with a bit of oil. The tartar, we're going to put salt, pepper, a little bit of onion, not too many things, dash of Tabasco, a good dash of olive oil here, and maybe some chive, and that's a fresh tartare. Okay, I can mix this, 
And as you notice, I have not put any vinegar or lemon juice in it. I could, but if I put the lemon juice, the citric acid will discolor the salmon. It's going to eat the protein and it will change color. What I want to do here is to cut a strip of cucumber. You leave the skin on. I do that often, season that with a dash of salt and some type a dash of vinegar and that's it. It cured. I would use it for this, top of the plate here, to do a bed, which would be very nice. But the question is not a question of being nice, it's a question of being good. And then my tartar in the center. And again, serve it just like this. If I want to be extremely lavish, then what I would want to do is to put a bit of caviar on top. And I have here a pressed caviar, pressed caviar called payushnaya in Russian. And uh, it's extremely concentrated in taste. The advantage, however, is that you can basically mold it the way you want. And I'm doing it here to have a little couple of teaspoons of it. I can roll it with a, with a rolling pin or just press it with my hand as I'm doing here in a beautiful round. I can use the same thing of my caviar to cut this to get it the same size. Remove the outside here. That makes it, of course, a bit more expensive, but certainly very elegant. A special dish. And then probably a few capers around and a little bit of very good olive oil. Okay. And I will have here a great tartare of salmon. For the gravlax here, you can do the same idea. Here I have some dill, so dill is a good idea. With it. I have a couple of uh, olive here. I can chop it coarsely. A little piece of red onion or uh, shallots or regular onion. and a bit more of olive oil, of, of course. And here you have a great grab lax of salmon. And this is a couple of the many, many dishes that you can make with salmon. <laughs>